Hey cuties, I'm Lanikia, and you're watching all, excuse me, what happened on the soaps, the young and the restless edition. Sorry about that. Sometimes I forget. Um, anyways, let's go right into this. So we're going to talk about Chelsea. I didn't like it, Chelsea. So, um, and y'all see what's happening, right? You see it? I see it too. So Adam is just enjoying his day. Took a it's midday. He's running through the park on a you know a little break. I said, okay, we're gonna go through this park again. But okay, they said yes. So Adam is enjoying his break, running through the park or whatever, and Chelsea comes up and she's like, oh, run, get, getting to take a run in the middle of the day, I see. And he was like, yeah, it's really nice. And she was like, I wish I had that luxury, you know, between picking up Connor, doing my errands, being, uh, you know, working and all that. I don't get that. And so he like, well, Chelsea, I could help you if you, you know, you need help. I could help you or whatever. And then she says, no, no, she didn't want help, Adam. She just wanted to complain. And she sees you doing something that makes you happy. And she wanted to complain about it. Now, listen, I understand <laughs> being single mother and having to do it all or whatever. But Chelsea, that's not your situation because he does help you. And so then Adam just wanted to, Adam was not berating Chelsea or being mean to Chelsea or anything and she just got so defensive and everything he said, she just twisted his words. Like he was like, I, you know, how are you? Are you doing okay? I know it's been a lot with, um, you know, Ray passing and you really cared for her, him. And it was such a shock. And, you know, with Connor and she's just, everything he said, she twisted his words. Like, I'm fine. I'm doing great. Con you don't think I can raise Connor? You don't think, you know, you don't approve of my raising Connor and everything. And he was like, no, Chelsea. I really just want to see how you are doing because the last time we spoke, you were having a hard time. And that's all it really was. And then here comes Sava, Kyle, coming up. And he's like, is there a problem here? And Adam says, no, we're talking about our child. Kyle, mind your business. I'm sorry. Like, Kyle, this is more reason why Kyle gets on my nerves. It's like, Kyle, mind your business. You're not involved in this. This is between Chelsea and Adam. And to be quite honest with you, Chelsea is the one who is being all defensive and everything. So um, Kyle is like, well, we'll let you finish enjoying your run, Adam. I'm like, excuse me? And Chelsea's like, yeah, um, Connor's nanny's going to take him home. Now, you just said you be picking Connor up and doing all this. Now you're saying he has a nanny to, to help do this. Like, stop it. Like, see, Chelsea, this is why people don't like you. I don't care for you too much. I mean, I don't care either way it goes. Like, Chelsea is one of those characters that if she's on there, I'm just like, okay. But, I mean, I just don't care either way with her character. But you you just said you do all this stuff. Now you're saying the nanny's going to take him home after this. Like, girl, what? which one is it? You do too much and you want to enjoy a break of do through the day or not because you're walking through the park as well like come on like that's what i'm saying i don't know what that just irritated the um devil out of me and so adam was like you know what whatever or whatever because kyle tried to make like throw a shot at adam and adam's just like listen adam over here happy because he got he about to get victoria out and he think he's gonna be ceo of newman enterprise he don't got time for y'all so adam's like i'm just gonna go see connor and she was like thank you for rescuing me and all that and got you i'll let me buy you a cup of coffee i said and then see Y'all, you know Chelsea gets emotionally attached to people. I don't like how this is going, but let's move right along. So then we see um, Sa they go to the coffee house and Sally and Summer are there. Now, Sally and Summer are there and they're having conversations or whatever. And Sally is trying to be polite to Summer. And I like Sally and Summer, so I really don't care how they feel about each other. It's like, move on. Like, if you don't, you work with each other, you've both climbed to the top, move on. But I don't like the fact that everyone throws in Sally's face that you're sleep, you slept with Adam, you're sleeping with Adam. Because Sally really does have talent and she takes her job seriously. Yes, yeah, she'd be sleeping with Adam or whatever, but like, now they can say, well, Summer, you got this whole Marchetti to move to Genoa City because you're messing with Kyle. What's the difference? Like, you're messing with Kyle. His family bought Marchetti. Like, stop it. Stop it. But anyway, so they come up. I'm not going to hold you on that because it wasn't much of anything. They were just being nasty, nice to each other. So then they come up, and Sally is ready to go. And Summer's like, Chelsea, Sally, what's wrong? You seem skittish. Sally don't want to be around Chelsea because, you know, Chelsea is wanting – 
she Chelsea feels I don't even think Chelsea wants Adam she just feels some kind of way about Sally right now even though they have made a truth she's feeling some kind of way about Sally because Sally is with Adam and she don't even want Adam but I don't know what's going on so Summer, Sally, and Chelsea, uh, Summer, Kyle, and Chelsea sit down, and Kyle and Summer says, when you came around, she was threatened, like, she had to get out of here, and Summer was like, and Chelsea was like, no, you think she probably was, or whatever, and so then Kyle starts watching as Chelsea says, I don't want to talk about somebody, but then she and Summer uh, go in on Sally, and I said, well, what are you doing, and he looking at Chelsea like, like, he's in shock or whatever, or he can't believe she's doing it. I'm like, look at your wife that way, too, because she's saying the same things. And, yes, Chelsea is going in on Summer. You know why? Um, on Sally, B, because she, 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 I don't, she doesn't want Adam, but I don't know. It's like she don't want him to be happy, or she's jealous that he's happy with Sally. I don't know what it is, but I'm the way she, she was going in and, and they didn't like, and he looked at her differently after she did that. But it is what it is. Um, I said, yes, you were not rescuing for her from Adam. You were rescuing Adam from Chelsea. So let's move right along because I spent too much time on this. It wasn't that much. So then we go to Victor and Ashlyn. And Victor just tells Ashlyn, you're not going to get away with this. Like you've distorted her mind. Victoria, talking about Victoria, you distorted her mind and making her think that, um, she loves you. He's like, you're a crook. You're a con artist. And Ashlyn said, at the end of the day, I only, I love Victoria and she loves me too. And she's not going to be controlled by you any longer. And if you want to blame someone, blame yourself. And I said, well, Ashley, you said you wanted to be with Harrison so bad. You're not going to even try to fight for him. You're just going to leave town because you got Victoria now. So you're like, okay, cool. I can leave town or whatever. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care at this point. This storyline has went on way too long. I don't care at this point. So let's move right along. I mean, at the end of the day, Ashley just told um, Victor, it is what it is. We're going to be together. And I have you to really thank for it because you kept pushing and pushing until you pushed her right back into my arms. And so Victor says, um, Victor is just like, I got you. <laughs> and so Victor leaves or whatever. He goes and meets with Adam. And he, Adam says, like, listen, I'm not trying to scheme or sh or anything. I'm just saying he got a hold on Victoria and we need to move on. Maybe this is the best thing. Everybody goes and do their respective thing and we move on and everybody gets into their roles because i'm like just go and get this company to me and let me make my moves that i need to make so then we say and and victor said well you might be right but i'm gonna get ashlyn back so i said okay don't talk no sense in him to adam because victor says uh this is per this is extremely personal to too personal to me to let this go so then we see um Victoria over there with Billy, right? And she trying to sugarcoat, finesse Billy, talking about she just want to move because it's just something she wants to do. And Billy said, what Ashley got to do with this? He said, because you could you could do this without leaving Genoa City. So what Ashley has to do with this? Um, he, she, he was like, I don't want you leaving because you're running from Ashley. See, Billy didn't even think about her getting back with him, but she said, Billy, stop talking about him like that. Ashlyn is remorseful and I forgive him and so she's going away with him and he said oh no you're not not with my children and she says we have joint he said we got joint custody and um she says well um so you can't just leave with them because she's not gonna even tell him where she's going I said now nah, I know paperwork you can't do that mama <laughs> you have to you have to give notice to him and the courts about what you're doing like you can't just get up and leave especially if y'all have joint custody and if y'all have any type of revision in there about you know being in the same place and that's what billy told her he said we're supposed to be, they're supposed to be in genoa city so you can't just up and leave she has to have billy's approval and you certainly not gonna be able to up and leave and not tell him where you're going like what is wrong with you what is wrong with you victoria so anyways but that's their paperwork. Everybody don't have that paperwork, but it seems like they got that paperwork. And so anyways, they get up and they leave. She says, I'm leaving. I'm taking the kids. Ashley would not harm them. He said, I don't know what Ashley would do. Look what he did to you. And he was like, how could you forgive him? 
or whatever. I'm not going to hold you long on this. Billy just tells Victoria, I'll be dang if you take my kids away to live with Ashlyn to a place that I don't even know where you're going and all that. I will fight you in court for this. It's not going to be that easy. And so she's... Oh, and she leaves, and then she goes with Ashley, and she tells Ashley what Billy said, and he says, see, Victoria, I told you, I told you, you can't lose your kids because of me, and she said, Billy doesn't have a leg of sand on, um, mom, yes, he does, like, what, what are y'all talking about, yes, he does, woman, <laughs> and she said, Billy doesn't have a leg to stand on, and Billy had told her, he said, Kyle got a restraining order against him, he said, that's court documents you can't tell me that the court's gonna see that he's got a restraining order against that child and be okay with him being around my children and so Ashlyn just telling Victoria this is not going to be as easy as you thought and she says I know but I'm prepared or whatever so then Billy talking to Lily about what's going on trying to get his wife to support him I went with you on this Lily and she says ah enough enough because he says he gonna fight victoria for custody because she can't just take his children or whatever and she says enough enough and he said you, you're right it is enough and i'm gonna lay down the law on this one and she says no i'm talking about you and victoria i've been through you wanting to well, acting like you still wanting to control her and and all that i'm tired of i'm not gonna deal with this anymore and he says this is not about victoria this is about my kids and she says you can't Ashley would not cause any physical harm on those children. And he said, we don't know what Ashlyn would do. We don't know what he's capable, capable of. The man lied about having cancer. He stole his best friend's identity. And then he conned a widow, a, a dying woman out of her life, you know, her money and all that kind of stuff. So we don't know what Ashley, and I'm like, y'all be thinking if, it's physical abuse and that's it but it's also emotional abuse it's also mental abuse and Ashlyn is very much capable of both of those so that is abuse which would require him not to be around your children if anybody didn't want someone around their children and so Lily just like I'm not dealing with it anymore she want Victoria to go Lily you want Victoria to go because you know deep down Billy still has feelings for Victoria and you want Victoria out of sight out of mind like stop playing that's what you really want and that was the young and the restless today guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel even if you don't subscribe that's okay I'll still be making these videos for you but hit that like button for me it allows the YouTube algorithm to go and my videos to be pushed out there thanks and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.